Welcome back everyone to my Red Dead news series where I keep you up to date with all of the latest news and updates. In classic Rockstar fashion we've had some unannounced changes and nerfs to Red Dead Online that wasn't actually listed to be included in the latest update and some of these changes weren't even mentioned in the patch notes. Some of these changes are good for the game, some of them not so good making money a lot harder to make in the game. So in this video I'll be going over all 25 hidden changes that you may not have known about. I believe this nerf has affected every animal carcass in Red Dead Online and they are now selling at 50% less than they did previously to this update. For example if you were to hunt a perfect buck the carcass used to sell for $10, now it only sells for $5. Hunting cougars was one of my personal favourite money making methods and it's been made pretty much useless with this patch. It's no longer really worth my time to hunt cougars. They're just so worthless now. It's basically way faster to play PvP modes now than to hunt any rare or exotic animals, which I find is a real shame and it was one of the big attractions to Red Dead Online is the hunting. There's a lot of people out there that only really care about the hunting. Now this isn't the first time Rockstar has made a patch to money making methods in Red Dead Online and it's not the first time they've not disclosed the change in their patch notes and it leads me to believe that they do this because not enough people are buying microtransactions in Red Dead Online and not enough people are buying the gold bars so what they're doing is they're toning down a lot of the money making methods just like fishing received a nerf uh, with one of the last updates and I can't really think of any other reason why Rockstar would want to hide such a major change. Bird hunting has also received a huge nerf and there's also some reports that you actually receive less plumes from hunting birds. So if you were to kill a three star spoonbill or a heron you actually only get one plume from it now whereas before I believe you got more. The next change has been made to looting houses. So previously you could loot houses and then switch sessions and those items would respawn and you could collect them again. However, Rockstar has completely patched this. Now when you switch sessions, it'll seem to remember where you looted so those items will no longer be there and I guess you have to wait somewhat of a cooldown before they're lootable again. What's weird is I looted this house here and when I switched sessions, when I spawn back in, not only were the, were the items already gone, but one of the tables in the house was completely gone, which I found really weird, so there was this big empty spot. I actually wasn't even sure it was the same house that I was in when this happened. But yeah, this was quite a common method to gather provisions, horse provisions, consumables, um, even to gather jewellery in this spot that I'm doing at the moment was quite a popular money making method, but you can no longer switch houses to loot these items. The next hidden change was one to the Varmint Rifle. You're no longer guaranteed to get perfect small game kills when you use a Varmint Rifle. I believe before you would pretty much always get a, a perfect um, pelt when you were um, killing small game animals and now they've actually changed that. The next change was to many different clothing items that were previously clipping through body parts. A lot of people had bandanas where their nose would stick right through or if your character got a bit fat sometimes your clothes would clip through the body and these, most of these have now been patched. Some people are still reporting they have occasional issues but for the most part a lot of the bandanas have now been fixed. Up next, carcass fishing has been completely removed from the game. This is where you would put a dead carcass in the water and it would basically attract fish to that dead carcass and then you could collect those fish and sell them. It was kind of like an alternate um, fishing method I guess you could call it, but this has now been completely patched, it will no longer work. Rockstar have also patched a uh, XP farming method that people used to use by killing cops. A popular spot was in Saint Denis when they used to stand at the top of the, the ladder and execute the cops as they came up and it was actually a really good experience and you could unlock a lot of buckles and things like that through it. But this has now been patched uh, with the bounty system because killing NPCs will give you a bounty so you're going to be racking up a big bounty on your head which kind of defeats the purpose of XP farming here. The next change is a very small but good one, but you can now gallop and sprint through camps. Guns will now default on the last ammo you selected, it's a very nice quality of life feature there. All weapons in Red Dead Online were reduced at the range that players can achieve critical damage from headshots. This fix was actually outlined in Rockstar's patch notes, in fact the next 15 changes I'm going to be talking about were all in Rockstar's patch notes. The Varmint Rifle has received three different changes. First of all, the accuracy spread has been increased 
when distracted to bring the weapon in line with other fast firing long arm weapons. They've reduced the lock on range of the varmint rifle and they've also increased the damage that the varmint rifle deals to other players when you hit them in the body or in their limbs. So the varmint rifle is no longer a go to weapon for PvP. Both sniper rifles, the Carcano rifle and the rolling block rifle have both had their damage greatly increased to other players. This is a great change because sniper rifles were pretty useless before this change, so it's nice that these have been updated, so they're going to do a lot more damage. Weapons purchased via the Social Club catalogue website will now be delivered to your stored weapon inventory on the horse instead of replacing one of the equipped weapons. Arrows now have increased visibility of trail effects. This will make arrows easier to spot, it will be easier to see where it lands and where it's being fired from. So if someone is using the bow and arrows you'll be able to kind of detect where they're coming from a little bit easier now. Fire and poison arrows will now yield a regular arrow when they're picked back up after being fired. Next up Deadeye will no longer give you perfect accuracy. The only exception to this is when you're using the ability card Paint It Black. There's also been a few other tweaks made to some of the ability cards. The short game was changed, the required distance to the enemy has been reduced, with the damage dealt increasing the closer a person gets to the enemy. This ability will become active for 2 seconds when damaging a nearby enemy. Peak condition has been changed, so now sprinting drains less stamina at all tiers. Maximum damage bonus has been reduced. Damage bonus now scales with the full percentage of the stamina tank. This ability becomes active for 2 seconds when dealing damage and the ability becomes active when stamina is below full. The slow and steady card has been nerfed. The Deadeye will now drain when damage is taken meaning you can't really stay in slow and steady as long as you used to be able to sponge bullets all day. The eye for an eye card has also been nerfed. It will no longer give you as much Deadeye as it used to when you got headshots at tier 2 and tier 3. Deadeye is also only granted if you actually get a headshot kill um, with that weapon, whereas before it would actually give you it for every headshot. The Unblinking Eye will now be active well in both Eagle Eye and in Deadeye. Winning Streak was also changed, it will become active for 2 seconds when damaging an enemy. And the last couple of changes were some nice changes to the free roam events, making them a lot more playable. The first one was Cold Dead Hands. Players can now hold the bag for one minute consecutively before it is forcibly despawned, which is a great addition. Players will now receive 1.5 times the normal points for carrying the bag during the final minute of the event, making it a lot more competitive. Two bags are now spawned during the event, giving more of a chance for other players to get it. Dispatch Rider, this was probably the most frustrating free roam event I'd ever played, but they've now updated this one, so when you mount the objective horse, you're now invulnerable for a short period of time, and your health, stamina, and deadeye tanks will all be refilled when you've mounted the horse, and your cores will be overpowered for 60 seconds, because before, as soon as you got on the horse, you'd be killed within like uh, 0.5 of a second. The objective horse will also no longer spook, run out of stamina, or become incapacitated. And last of all, the King of the Castle event has been reduced to allow a maximum of only 16 players. So that's all 25 hidden changes you may not have known about in Red Dead Online. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this update. I think there's a lot of nice quality of life features in here. It is a bit of a shame to have the hunting and money making methods um, kind of nerfed. I think that put a bit of a damper on this whole update to be honest. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss out on any breaking news about this game. And if you could take a second to leave a like on the video, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.